Please welcome Nguyen Nguyen. So before we get on with the speak, I just want to say that I am extremely grateful to be in the position that I am today. And I wouldn't want to trade this life for the whole world. And um, everything I've experienced throughout this journey has brought me on the stage with you. And so I thank you for inviting me to speak today. I am a, I'm a social media influencer with over that many uh, followers across all of my platform. Although I'm very proud, and uh, even though my whole life is basically on the internet, there was a point during my career when I actually hated it. Hated being on, on the internet. And um, a little background story about me um, and how I started it. Uh, I made my first YouTube video back in 2016. That was my first year of college. And um, I'm an introvert at heart, so I didn't really have a social life back at the time. I would go to class every morning and then rush straight back home after the last class to film my YouTube video. You can say that I was motivated, so motivated that I started ordering cheap filming equipment on Amazon to jumpstart my career. And I didn't really expect anything back at the time, or I didn't even know what I was doing, to be honest. Um, I just know that I really love creating content, and it kind of snowballed into the career that I'm having today. So this career allowed me to be creative and to be myself. And after I upload my third video on YouTube, it kind of went viral. And it hit one million view after the first week, which was a very huge deal back in the day. And yeah, I unknowingly became my most rewarding and longest, uh, longest career journey. So I can, you know, with this career, I can freely spread my thoughts and my creativity. And I love capture everything and then make them into the 10 minutes videos that you guys always enjoy watching on the internet. You know, whether it's my um, personal thoughts or the city that I visited, or simply just a makeup tutorial, I treat all of my platforms as a diary where I can, it can measure my growth and where I can look back at any time in the future and to see how far I've come in life. But eventually, life isn't always smooth sailing for me. And once you reach a certain level of, of uh, recognition, you're more exposed to criticisms and judgment, and that's just inevitable for the job I'm having. And I was young, I was naive, and especially I didn't have the tool to train my mind to be stronger than my thoughts. And let's just be frank here, people will not always like what you do or agree with what you say. Not to mention that there's always going to be people that are so sure that they know you, that they would, you know, create all these narratives and stories about your life. But, of course, they don't even know that half of it. And why would I be bothered, right? That's what my mom always told me. She's like, oh, you do you, you know you. You know who you are. And why would you let other people, you know, define your own worth? But, once again, I was young. And I remember going through a very tough breakup back in the day. Um, yeah, and you know, the stress, the heartbreak, the exhaustion, the distraught was very visible and it exuded out on my body and on my face. And I weighed 39 kilograms for the height of uh, 5 foot 2. That's very skinny, I know. And I remember waking up in the morning and uh, there were plenty of private forums on Facebook and group chat, you know, they were discussing about how degrading I look. And they were so sure that I used some sort of, you know, recreational use to be able to lose weight that fast. And I read a comment of that one girl, she was like, oh, she just gave birth. And she decided to keep her baby as a secret. So that explains why she looks so stressed. And even up until this point, like, whenever there's a post that talks about me on the internet, there sure will be at least one pregnant or 
uh, single mother rumor. And I'm like, wow, nowadays people just gonna decide that I'm pregnant without me knowing, okay? Uh, and um, yeah, at the end of the day, I was young, I was naive, and I'm just a normal human being just like you are with, you know, feelings and emotions. And when things are getting out of hand, and one self-doubt starting to kick in in all directions, you know, the fun stops. And especially you don't really know why you've been attacked. Like, you were just doing what you love. Like, you've been doing it for, you know, that many amount of time, then now suddenly it becomes a problem. And um, I would ask myself, why would I get criticized for it? Um, and, you know, at the time, for the first time in my life, I started questioning my own worth. Yeah, and then I'm like, I started looking for validation from other people, which I had never ever done before in my life. I've always known for being, you know, this strong and bold and strong-minded girl that always know what she wants and who she is. And all of a sudden, all that stopped. You know, like, I would even question my own identity. I was thinking to myself, like, am I as bad as what people think that I am? Are those coming true? Um, am I what people described of me online? And, you know, that was such a gut-punching experience for me at the time. So, I remember crying myself to sleep every night. I was being very, you know, uh, overreacted, like, exaggerated somehow. I was like, I want to quit everything. I wanted to disappear, nobody would ever hear my name again, and maybe people wouldn't be so angry if they didn't see me in my face anymore. Um, I hate to be that extreme, but like I was going through emotions that I was um, anticipating the worst to happen. But then, yeah, when you hit rock bottom, the only way to go is up. So I took a step back, I calmed myself down, and I want to heal from the breakdown, and I want to stop myself from all of that, you know, thinking pattern that almost sabotaged my life. And I took some time off the internet. I travel alone by myself quite a lot at the time, and I still do now, because I want to gravitate to my solitude and, you know, just want to reflect on life. And I start to notice what is really going on in this uh, digital world, that there will always gonna be hate, criticisms, and odium, but we must not forget that there's also love, supporters, and you know, constructive criticism as well. And I was so naive that I neglecting all that positivities and only focus on a negative one. You know, that was a form of self-sabotage and it's really narrowed my way of seeing life. And all we need once in a while is a little self-talk. So mine for you is those things that are bothering you right now, they are just noise. The noise that you yourself are allowing in to disturb with your inner peace and mess with your head. And you know, in this you know digital era, noise is everywhere. For example, like you would compare yourself to a, somebody a achievement that you see online or you would feel self-conscious, you know, comparing yourself with a picture life perfect of somebody, of some stranger that you see on Instagram. You know, those are the inner critics, the voices in your head that will always tell you that you're not good enough. And if you really can get in touch with who you are, with your true self, your self-worth and your value, then you can master the art of, you know, filtering out all the excessive and destructive noise, and that is when you can be invincible. Do not let anyone tell you otherwise. In my case, in my situation, I, I, I don't think it was that bad. I was just too young, and I didn't know how to handle it well. Now I think about it. Um, and um, so what I did was I denied all of that negative in the critics of mine pertaining to that matter, you know, the voice that, that always drawing in my head, telling, emphasizing all of the self-doubt and fears of mine. And I come to exception that 
I remind myself that one moment doesn't define a whole of my worth. And I start practicing guitar, I hit the gym more often, you know, just really getting myself busy so I won't get my mind a chance to overthink. And I stop seeing things in, in extremes, like in black and white. What I did instead was I embraced the gray, you know, the middle ground, because life often exists in the nuances. And I also practicing gratitude, which I always do, even up until now. Like, you know, I always say this one affirmation that my life is the latter, is always keep getting better. And I always remind myself how I how lucky I am to get access to clean water, good food, and I can breathe healthily every day. So why would I be stressed out over some comments that I see online that would eventually go away once I decided to turn off the screen, right? So just focus on the present, focus on the now. Don't stress out. I promise you, you will be the happiest person when you start to enjoy the progress of life because life is about the journey, right? So what happened to you, it will add up to enrich your life experience even more. So just enjoy the process, the process of loving, of learning, of failing, of growing, and of getting uncomfortable once in a while, and of feeling as well. Because just tell yourself that your feelings are valid, but once you feel that you're being overthinking a bit, just take a step back and remind yourself that um, just because we feel it sometimes, it doesn't always make it true. And uh, it's very important to uh, distinguish between the inner voice and the inner critics. That's very important. But sometimes, I want to remind you that um, you don't want to be around those people or an environment that track down your performance or your improvements in life. Whether it's mental health, school performance, or work performance, you are in the control of the group of people you surround yourself with. You know, those can be the noise to your life that distracts you from having a quality life. Because in my case, I couldn't have survived at my lowest without the support system of my loved ones and my friends. And at the end, it's all about self-talk. Like I once said in one of my TikTok videos, bird flies with bird, pig eats with pig, and uh, fish swim with fish. So the people that you surround yourself with can define who you are and what you are as a, as a person. So the next time you're contemplating about the quality of those who are in your life, just ask yourself this one simple question. Does the environment or the people that I'm surrounding myself with today helps me with my goal or who I want to become in the future? If the answer is no, then you know what to do. I hope you can find your answer and guys stay present and choose your mental health above all else. Thank you.